Good morning, Rochester, and welcome to Mayor on the Move. You know what we're about to do. We're going to go grab the mayor, and we're going to have candid conversation about the great things that are going on in the city of Rochester. Special Projects and Education Initiatives did the Opportunity Fair. I heard such great things about that. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so on Friday, we had a great Opportunity Fair. We had um, a number of our participants, community partners. It's in partnership with the National League of Cities. It really is about how do you get people that are that want to go back to school, that want to um, get back into the workforce, get them the information that they need, and remove those barriers. Let them know, listen, if transportation is an issue, then we have partnerships with our GRTA. If childcare is an issue, we have partnerships. These are the community partners that are out in the community, our not-for-profit organizations that's doing a lot of work in this space. Do you want to get one? Sorry, Sorry about that, Mayor. That's okay. Um, that are in this space that are here to help you. And so we were excited. This was our first one. And we were able to make sure that um, people got the information. It was uh, streamed on Facebook Live and everyone was able to receive that information. Awesome. So it's so since it was streamed on Facebook Live, that means that people can still go and see it and then reach Good out morning. to them. And then reach out to those various partners to see if they would qualify for these services. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. The next thing, gosh, Mayor, your offices have been super busy. The <laughs> Office of Community Good morning. How was Good your morning. weekend? Morning. Good, good. The Office of Community Wealth Building had something huge go on last week, too. Oh, they, yes. J.P. Morgan Chase announced uh, that we received a grant through Redco um, in partnership with, you know, and I always say in partnership, right? Yes. You know, what we're doing is we're convening, and we have a lot of partnerships with um, people that are in the community. So um, Redco, the Center for Urban Entrepreneurship, J.P. Morgan Chase, um, many of our um, not-for-profits like Urban League and Vero that are doing these um, uh, developing entrepreneurs. And so we were able to receive a grant to help our entrepreneurs that really looking for opportunity to grow their business or to um, get started in business. Everybody doesn't want to be an employee. And so we have people that want to become employers and we want to do our best to help them. And so the Office of Community Wealth Building, under the leadership of Dr. Lomax Campbell, has been doing a phenomenal job of developing um, these partnerships with national organizations. Um, you know, we, we've, been a, we've been a part of Living in Cities. Uh, we have partnerships with Bloomberg, now J.P. Morgan Chase. And so it's only going to get better from here. And um, because the resources that these other entities can bring to our uh, businesses here is going to be phenomenal. And we're just looking forward to seeing these businesses flourish and to get the support that they need, technical support, and also the knowledge and information so that we can lift as we find. Absolutely. Two more things, we're almost to your office. I saw Faith in Action on <laughs> social media this weekend. <laughs> Your Faith, Faith in Action initiative in partnership with the Rochester City School District and your institute, your faith-based institutions, mm -hmm. they were all over social media showing this lady right here. Of this Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Showing all of the goods that they got for the schools. Yes. Oh my goodness. Tracy and uh, Ricky from the school district, they did a phenomenal job putting together um, the information um, to actually um, make sure that our children, our babies, get the support that they need over the holiday. And so what we did was we reached out to our churches. We made sure that our churches um, knew 
what schools were in need and they actually adopted different schools um, and I'm sorry, I'm looking because I think I have a 10 o'clock and it's 10 o'clock okay. and I need to get out of no school. No worries, okay. But they actually adopted these schools um, and, you know, churches have stepped up, not only provided food, but some, some of them provided, a, one provided a washer and a dryer oh, for the school so that they could wash clothes. Um, they are adopted families for Christmas. And, and I just think that it's just, you know, you put the call out there to the community and you say, hey, listen, our families are in need. We know that people are struggling during to, uh, you know, due to the pandemic. Can you help? And our faith community has just really stepped up in enormous ways, um, unbelievable ways, you know, just showing the power, the power of God. And, um, you know, to, to, to watch them just deliver packages and have the, the principals and the teachers be able to deliver those things to the students that are in most need. It is absolutely amazing to watch, and it's just getting started. You yes. know, we started with clergy on patrol, and we have more to come when it comes down to engaging our faith community in taking care of the rest of the community. I love it, Mayor, and this is all happening during the pandemic. Well, thank you for letting me walk into the office.